here with Fabrizio Saccomani, Italy's uh, Minister of the Economy. Um, Minister Saccomani, we've heard a lot about where the Eurozone crisis is at this point, and there's a lot of talk about whether the reforms in Italy are moving quickly enough to, to raise the growth rates. Mm. We've heard a lot of comparisons with Spain recently at Davos in the past couple of days. Can, where do we stand in terms of the reforms that Italy needs to get the economy to speed up a little bit more? Well, I think uh, <clears throat> the reforms uh, are a very broad uh, chapter, <laughs> not only in Italy but uh, in all in all of Europe. I think uh, in uh, last year we had to deal with the severe financial emergency, and uh, I think that was stopped. Now I think uh, our uh, efforts have been uh, to revive the economy, and so we have done. Uh, a lot of injection of uh, funds into the economy in various ways uh, and uh, while staying within uh, the agreed limits uh, you know, of the European Union. I think we managed to do that. The economy is recovering. Uh, we had uh, the first two quarters of 2013 were very negative. The economy stabilized in the third quarter. It grew at a positive rate in the fourth quarter. is expected to grow at 1%. Uh, at the same time, we have reopened the chapter of, uh, of economic reforms uh, and also institutional reforms. Uh, for us, uh, we are a country with a high debt. It was crucial to uh, show that uh, we have a pattern of reduction of the debt through a program of privatization, a very severe program of expenditure control, which will enable us to reduce taxes. You know, so I mean. Uh, each country has to give priority to the issues that are most important from their point of view. And I think we cannot uh, complain because, you know, after all, we are well below uh, the 3% deficit, which is not uh, the case of other countries in Europe, uh, except uh, Germany. And, uh, and also, I think uh, our pattern of uh, debt consolidation is, is firmly established. Is there any chance that any of Italy's challenges now could reopen <coughs> the Eurozone crisis that we saw? No, I don't think ago? so. No. Frankly, the Eurozone crisis is over for all practical purposes. There is a legacy of uh, uh, sort of high unemployment uh, that is a result of, uh, of the crisis uh, that, of course, will uh, require more time to, to, be, to be fully resolved, uh, not only in Italy but uh, in, uh, in, all, in all countries. But uh, uh, from a financial point of view, all the figures are, are pointing in the right direction. We have a, a primary surplus of uh, over uh, nearly 3%. Uh, um, the spreads are moving in the right direction. There is great interest by the financial investors for uh, uh, buying Italian assets, both uh, government assets and private assets, and that's why we are confident that this program of privatization that we are launching will be well received by the markets. Okay. Thank you very much.